Batmobile. And it's, as you can see, it's a toy size. Uh, anybody can fit on it, to be honest. Do you know what ratio it is? or? It's about 10 foot long by 4 foot wide. And it was actually a film prop supposed to be for the movie 1989 Batmobile. Or Batman. And we kind of made it our own. That's, everything's done it for I was told it was took from a mold from the Gamma Magic car. So there's a scene in the, the Batman that was coming out of a factory and it was exploded. I can't look at But it, when you look at it, it actually looks, uh, when you see the, the, the kits that are downsized in the movie, you can see it. Hey, this is a film prop, but it's a mold from it. This is not the exact thing. Yeah, it's a okay. mold yeah. taken from it. Now that's what I've been told. But seems to be anybody I've asked about it seems to have confirmed the, the story, which is great. So me and my brother, I bought this three years ago. It sat for a while. I started into doing a wee bit of body work and then I could sing I got my brother and other than that I would never have got it done only for him, to be honest. You're so nice. Oh, that's so yeah, sweet. You're so sweet. What do you want? So <laughs> the body work and all I did no problem myself, but my brother did all the, the nice trinkets, the, the caps and the wheels, the the things that make it look good, the things that say that's off a washing basin. On this has been 3D printed. No, Everything no. was just been found out of a garage and pretty much going through different sort of boxes and all that. But the reality is, like, it came down to this, just trying to make everything look what you see in the movie. And I had a model go off, mm -hmm. but I don't think I did too bad. Well, ask Tom, how did you make the comb? The comb? The comb's the actually the best for you. Yeah. Here. So this yep. was like a huge waste pipe that I pretty much just repurposed, cut it down. This was like 36 pounds just for itself. Uh, these are like three different parts uh, of a lawnmower. And this here is actually like an ornament that you would find for like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so like the rose. And so, and then I thought there was like a ball bearing I had from like a car, like, and so I just repurposed that. So the whole thing does twist and turn. And these lights actually work as well. Where the, what did I get them from? You got them from a, Vol a Volkswagen Beetle. 60s veil. I just says what would look like a and the big full size Baba Bill, a 20 foot one, which we are actually getting. We've confirmed. Oh. Uh huh. We're, we've struck a deal with this here. Did we continue? That we're, did we continue? Yeah. We've struck a deal with this <laughs> to actually get the bigger one, but it's the shell again, so yeah. we're starting from scratch. But it is the 20 foot one from the movie. And the 20 foot one, the lights are supposed to be off Honda CRX front bumper, so I've been told. I, mean, I did it, and, and to be honest, that wow. So I, I seen a beetle. I just looked up through what indicators are orange and kind of that shape, oval or rectangular. And I seen that there, it was off a 60s or 70s beetle. So it worked, it did the job. And then right around the back, oh, the only thing that was cut out of the machine was them air badges. My brother got me a dweeb. And that's actually a cap. CNC dirt, and then these are just actually just like caps that you Arsal get on caps. top of So don't hit them yeah. <laughs> Then, very clever lads, very you, clever. Very I got the lights from a, brand new lights from a Land Rover Defender, which fits perfectly. Ding. Uh, the inside of this here is actually off a colander, <laughs> and this here is a like... Colander. A, yeah, a colander? Yeah, a colander. Right. <laughs> you can actually see the, uh, that, seven, uh, that, that, was my, that. That was my idea, because yeah. I says, what can we do to fill up that hole, because the exhaust comes out there. Yeah, and then these exhaust ports are just pretty much like water mains, uh, so I thought myself, they look actually interesting enough. I water mains, spray of silver, <laughs> and yeah, they look pretty much exactly what they should be. It has a wee Honda engine on the back. Yes. So it does. Uh, 5.5 horsepower. Yeah. It's a full cord. So you always have to take it off. You know, unscrew so there. Unscrew it here, and then after this part of the canopy slides down. Slides down I had to completely make this. This here, the original piece was too flat. So I had to make this here, as you can see, the whole shape. And it took a lot of time to shape it and mold it and all. What way did you make that? Did it the wrong way. I supposed to try to make a mould. I, I I just did it with shape and with expanding foam and put fiberglass putty over the top of it instead of making fiberglass matting. So the next time will be quicker. Unless he, unless heavy, that thing's a ton weight. I think this one was actually the best one to do because at least we know for when we go get the big one. We can and go parts better inside, way we, have we have actually like a, a track for ourselves. And the parts inside yes. are like scrap parts we had sitting around. So that that's from a car that I just had sitting around in the clocks. This here button was sitting on my toolbox is 10 years, brand new, never used, so I thought we'd just put it in there for show. These wee switches just again. That steering wheel was bought, but Dean, what about that? Yeah, so this is actually a, a wee cap, and I just got this CNC out as well, and then sprayed it, and as I said myself, it looks pretty much what you would see in the movie, but generally everything comes That's out of a compressor? That's off a compressor. This was like two parts of a compressor. <laughs> I just chopped in half, because I just wanted to fill it up, because 
if you were a kid or even a, a man of a certain age and all out there, you want this to look. What a pair of buttons, you want even to play if they don't work. You know, even if they don't work, but don't get me wrong, like these all can be wired up to do something. But generally, on this, this is actually off like a flight simulator, so I just put that in as well because it looks cool. <laughs> what about the Wii TV? Oh, and the Wii TV. I forgot about the Wii TV. See it, Leon, and I chopped it <laughs> and cut it down to pieces just to get this here sort of like frame. And I was like, and then after that, there just did a printout of pretty much what the you know schematics of the car would be. Like original dials for this here that came off like an aviation, uh, like plane. Donal more or less suggested. You're not, you're not putting them in that there. Yeah. We're, uh, we'll eventually have a 20 foot long one, so we may as well put them aside and we'll use them in that. And what was the hardest thing of it? Chassis. Chassis? Ah. Yeah. Had, chassis had to be extended so that it was from a normal good cured uh, bulk cap chassis and it had to be extended like there, not, not, four, three, not three or four foot. So when a child's in it, the hood can go down, but there's no windies. But when we get in, the hood is up fully, or if not off, we get the hood off. Yeah. Uh, canopy. I call canopy. Canopy. So pretty much when you pull like two pins. Yeah, when you pull like two pins, <laughs> this here canopy case comes completely off. And it's good for adults, but uh, also if you want to put it back on again, it's good for display purposes. We've talked about a couple of Comic Con shows, it's got a good response and kids looking at especially as much as adults. I oh, know. I achieved my dream <laughs> as much as your team. What your dream. What's more or less was to bring it to some of the Comic Con and just basically just oh, to showcase. Right. And we showcased very, it and we got very, such very a, blessed, a beautiful reception. Just had a bit of wear and tear. Yeah. A couple of a wee bit of the things broke off a wee bit, but I'm gonna fix that because the man is getting it. You know, he'd, he'd appreciate that fix. So I'm gonna fix that. But we're gonna leave it pristine for the your man getting it. First people and um, we're looking to buy it overseas, and they were looking at with no engine. Just can we have it? And they just want it up the house. Yes, that's right. But the, the shipping costs were extreme, for like four or five thousand dollars just to get. I was more than it was coming out of the budget. I think the one in the guy in Australia, he wanted for he wanted inside the house. Inside the first child. It was amazing. I thought that was fantastic. God, it's opened up a new door for the dad new... of the year there. Yeah, it was dad of the year. <laughs> it's opened up the door now for the big family, which is his dream. And that means the two of us can jump in it and drive up the road. That would Batman be crazy. <laughs> oh no, that's the thing. I will. We will be driving it up the road. What sort of engine you got to put in that? Oh, it'll be V8. Like, like it. so it is. Like um, definitely it'll be something with a growl on it. Like. Like 4.7 Maybe some flames coming out the back Oh no, there'll be a flame There will be a flame Alright, so you heard it here, we're going to have the whole just tell it <clears throat> Really? <laughs> well, push your head up nice and high That's right. it Yes Sit That's the way you do it there Sit up straight Good posture I always have good posture <laughs> Yeah, I actually miss it in this thing. It's actually good. Let me see for fit. Fit-wise, it's actually really well. No, I tell you, for like what? We're five, seven, five, eight, don't. Oh, well, put it this way. There's bigger men and bigger women and bigger yeah, everyone. Oh, almost six foot. Almost six foot. Almost. Gear on, so you know. With guy, rest the entire there's the a, costume. There's a method of getting under, but yeah. I think it like so. Well. So, tell us. <laughs> This is all carpet the whole way down here. Like I took, I took a considerable amount of time to make sure this felt and felt like you want to be in a, like a, a real car. So, I got to do 30 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour, no problem. Yeah. 35 mile an hour in this thing. 35 mile an hour. <laughs> and I mean, it's like that yeah, because there's, there's no suspension. <laughs> but it's, it's the biggest laugh I've ever had to sit in like something like this here. I mean, to sit in this here and drive down the road, it's not so much that there. If you get caught the eye of people like looking at you, the attention you get is out of this world, but it's just the laugh because you're just doing this the entire time. <laughs> More people thought this was just a static prop. She is. Yeah. Oh, the body tucked in. That's nice and neat and tidy there, and there's the full court. The wee knuckle, so it had no brakes. I was like, stop, stop, stop! <laughs> oh. So, this 
This is reverse mode, is it? This is reverse, is a uh, manual. <laughs> Why would Batman do reverse in any way? <laughs> Batman does go backwards. He only goes <laughs> forwards. Yeah, exactly.